everybody. Welcome to the Wingoos. So, here we have the Wingoo B20 that I've been sent and I've been rocking around on and I'm using it as my everyday bike. Um, the affiliate link that I've got is in the description below. It is a great little bike. Um, but we're not going to be talking about this one today. We're going to be talking about a crazy idea that I've had, which may or may not work. Just move this out of the way for a second. And it's to do with my old Wingu B3. Now I've opened it up, I've had a little look. Right, the Wingu B3. Now, here it is. So what I've done, as you can see, is I've took the, the panel off. Just because of how it looks, I've got, I've got an idea. I've got, I've got a crazy idea. Seeing what's inside this, we've got the battery pack sitting inside here, which is like casing around it. We've got like a little module on it, and that's basically it. But my thought was, I've been seeing these things around, and I didn't even know this was a thing. So bear with me, all right? Here, we have the battery, we've moved some bits around there. But what we have here is a sprocket, okay? What does the sprocket go with? The sprocket goes with this 80cc petrol two-stroke engine. So, can we make the first hybrid Wingu? My thoughts, all right, where's the little, there we go. My thoughts are this is gonna sit inside here, yeah, just like this, it's gonna run, sprocket it's going to be on the back wheel now i know what you're thinking you can't put it on the back wheel because the motor's on the back wheel i've already thought of that i don't know how it's going to work yet what i'm going to do is i'm going to move the the electric wheel the electric motor to the front wheel okay and then put the front wheel on the back put the disc on the back because if you spin them around they look identical from that point of view put that on the back then the sprocket will fit on the back so we'll have electric front and we'll have petrol powered rear wheel. So you need, for what these motors I've found, it's like you can't, they need some momentum to help them start, okay? So what we're gonna be doing from that is like, once we use the electric going, boom, kick it in, and then it's gonna go 80cc petrol engine on the back. The question's gonna be asked like, oh, is that gonna be road legal? No, it's not gonna be road legal. I know it's not gonna be road legal. The thing probably isn't even road legal anyway. So, but it's gonna, it could be a good idea. So we've got the full kit. I'll go grab the full kit and show you the full kit. Now, no expense was spared in the purchase of this kit from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description as well. 84 pounds. We've got an 80cc engine, got the sprocket. We've got fuel tank, yeah, which is gonna sit. Oh, look at that. That, ah, sexy. And then we've got like the spark plug and we've got the fuel filler. Then we've also got, so we've only got one brake on this bike, which is good because you have another brake. This is the clutch. This is the clutch lever to then disengage it. So we can use the other side, which doesn't have one on for that. So it's going to work perfect. We've got the chain. Let's hope this chain doesn't rust and rot as quickly as the one on the B20. Uh, yeah, and then we've got, We've got the exhaust. We've got a couple of grips. We've already got, we've already got grips on there, so we probably won't need. We need one, one's the accelerator, so we may need to swap that one over. So we've got an accelerator on it, and the other one I think is just the match. We've got clutch cable. I don't know what the hell that is. We've got chain adjuster, something. Oh yeah. So that's gonna be coming. It's gonna be the intake. It's gonna be going that way. So then the exhaust is gonna be coming off there somehow. We're gonna be tip, tip, tip. Maybe like that. Maybe like that. Oh, it's gonna be epic. So, if this works, it's gonna be amazing. If it doesn't, it's gonna be a fun experiment. So, this is the beginning of it. This is number one. So, if you're interested in 
how it goes, then please do like and subscribe. So you can subscribe, so therefore you can keep updates of how we go on with our journey of making the first ever hybrid Wingu, okay? With the petrol seat, with the petrol engine, I reckon they said it could go like 50 miles an hour. No, that can't be right. I think I said like 60 kilometers an hour. So yeah, so this is it. So what we need to do, we need to take out the wiring. So I need to take some pictures of all this so I know where it goes. Then we need to reroute this, probably reroute the battery somewhere, put the, swap the wheels over. Lots to do in the project coming up. Stay tuned for the next installment of Project Hybrid Wingu, and we'll see where we go from there. So, see you on the next one.